Okay, today I want to show you how to use a slide hammer with the axle puller adapter to remove a CV joint, a stuck CV joint, which practically they're all stuck it seems like, especially if the car's got any any um, sort of age on it. So here's what we got. This is my 98 Lexus ES300 passenger side CV joint. Um, I've already done the driver side, had to use a, the um, slide hammer for that as well. But I've yanked on this thing and I've made no progress with it. I even even used a, a um, come along to try to pull it out, but it's really not pressure that it needs. What it really needs is the uh, quick snap that a slide hammer gives you. So here's the adapter that goes on the slide hammer that'll help you pull a CV joint out or an axle. And here's my slide hammer. Picked this up from, I think, AutoZone. Now my little pulley adapter puller is um, missing the nut for the bottom, but it's threaded, so I didn't have any trouble with it, although it's not ideal. So I just threaded that on the, the um, slide hammer. And then what I want to show you is where I'm going to put it. Basically, this is designed to slide basically on the back, right right at the back of that, on the other side of that boot where the flashlight is shining. Um, it, it slips right in there. Matter of fact, I did have to um, kind of just wiggle it a little bit, but I didn't have to disassemble it or anything. So I just kind of got it back there. And I'm um, just kind of wiggled it around until it snapped in right there on the back side of that metal casing um, part of the CV joint. So you'll see me doing this as well. I know you saw the clip on there in that in that previous little um, clip that the retaining clip was still on there. Um, I was just using that from when I was pulling it out. But trust me, the clip is has been removed. That is not why this thing is so hard to come out. So once you get on there, then the trouble is going to be to find the best angle. Obviously, you want to be... Um, yanking on the hammer so that it's pulling as straight out as possible which is kind of tough in this situation so I got the best angle I could and this is a slide hammer it is not a magic genie so understand that it has limitations um, I think you can probably get 90% plus um, stuck CV joints out with one of these but I'm not going to tell you that it solves all your problems so you just hold on to the t-handle at the end and then you just basically yank on that thing as hard as you can to try to get it to break loose. I did this for probably 10 or 15 minutes off and on, no luck. Sprayed it with PB Penetrate a dozen times and then I came back the next morning, pulled on it three times and unfortunately I didn't get that on video, but on the third pull the next morning, the entire CV joint just fell right out. So that will be the lesson learned. You know, give it a shot, work with it for maybe, maybe 20, 30 minutes tops. If you haven't made any progress, just kind of keep soaking it with PB Penetrate, and if time allows you, just give it time, you know, four, six, eight hours, or if you can wait overnight like I did, even better. Hope that helps. Got a video coming up after this showing you how I actually got the CV joint, how you take the CV joint out, but I just wanted to show you this because I think this comes in handy with a lot of CV joints that are stuck, which it seems like most of them are today. All right, hope that helps, and we'll talk to you guys again soon.